Hi, I'm Ed Fulbright, CPA, CGMA, PFS, a Fulbright Financial Consulting PA. We would like to welcome you to our educational briefing. Under the new tax law, business owners are entitled to deduct 20% of qualified business income. The test for qualifying for this big new tax break is defined in the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. If you formed your business as the sole proprietorship, S-corporation, partnership, LLC, or similar pass-through entity, you are entitled to the deduction. C-corporations don't qualify for the 20% deduction. Only businesses generating income, not taxed at the company level, but directly to the owner, qualify. Qualified business income is the business's day-to-day, non-investment income, revenue the business generates minus expenses. QBI doesn't include interest or dividend income or capital gains on a property sale. Nor does QBI include salary or wages, paid either as W-2 wages from an S-corporation or guaranteed payments from a partnership. Here's where it gets a little tricky. The deduction is limited to the lesser of 20% of qualified business income or 50% of the total W-2 wages paid by the business. A separate limit based on the unadjusted basis of certain business assets could also apply in some situations, but that's unusual. What's more important is the 50% W-2 wage cap that kicks in when a business owner couple filing jointly has total taxable income of more than $315,000 or $157,500 for single filers. Here's an illustration. Say a couple owns a business with $200,000 in qualified business income, no real assets like vehicles or real estate, and one employee who was paid $50,000 in 2018. They'd be entitled to a QBI deduction of 20% of $200,000. That's a $40,000 deduction. Because the couple's taxable income is less than $315,000, 50% of wages paid to their employee is equal to $25,000, so the wage limitation would not apply. Some business owners with more than $315,000 in QBI may want to consider ways they could reduce their W-2 wages or guaranteed payments to qualify for the deduction, but this requires careful planning and personal consulting beyond this simple illustration. The rules are new and technical, and before changing how your business pays you to qualify for the $20,000 QBI deduction, it's prudent to be in touch with us and plan properly. Thank you for listening. Please contact us with any questions, and also contact us if you're interested in our complimentary second opinion on your investments or to set up a meeting regarding your wealth. Don't hesitate to share this video with people who might benefit from our work. Thank you again, and have a great day.